what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um a ton of you guys already know of this website some of you guys may not um but i truly believe a lot of you guys that even know about it haven't really used it to its full potential as far as building your business and capturing leads on social media okay that's exactly what this whole entire video is going to pertain to just i believe just you know one way out of many ways you can capture leads but at the at the, at the end of the day this right here has been tested over and over and over and so many people have used this same strategy and same you know freaking method forever and it wasn't until really the internet started taking off and really started to explode which was let's say let's say early 2000s early 2000s is when is when the internet and just scalability was really starting to take effect 2000s into the mid 2000s now we're in 2020 where we're at scale social media at scale meaning billions of people are on it right it's huge now but it started it started in the very beginning with like blogs and and random basic websites even before landing pages and sales funnels when people still had to build some type of website to sell a product or to get any type, any type of information you know online and i remember back then people started giving away free information free downloads you know click here to download your free report right how many free reports you know website type of things have you came across and 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 for how long right i know me personally i've had i've came across so many websites where there was some type of free download and you know why that's so effective today is because it gives something for free and it gives something of value for free in exchange for someone's basic information name email that's it and so in the past 5 years 10 years 15 years if you've been online you've been online for let's just say let's call it 20 years if you're a real hardcore internet marketer you've been online for let's say 20 years longer than that you'd have to be working for the government or something you know you work for probably nasa and you know you've been online since the 70s and shit right but most of us dude the average consumer it wasn't until it wasn't until 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 the early 2000s um which which makes it at the at the recording of this video makes it 20 years in right 20 years in 20 years in and so it wasn't until maybe 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 15 years ago 10 years ago for sure 5 years ago where major major internet marketers were capturing leads that way giving away something of value and and and, and in this case a digital download and in some cases a freaking video like how easy is it to put together a 10 minute video teaching a specific audience a specific thing and Let's say you don't charge for it, but let's say you actually offer it for free, but it's something that's not on YouTube. You don't put it out anywhere, right? It's real value, you know, for a specific group. Maybe you're a freelancer. Maybe you're building an agency and you're looking for clients. Maybe you're a real estate agent and you're looking for clients, buyers, sellers. But but you but you have this 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 information regarding the best way to sell your house or you have this information regarding the best lender to speak to and it's just it's just information that you that you do put out there in in social media world but it's also good information that you that you give to just your clients and so online imagine just having a simple opt-in page and giving something of value for free in that case a video 30 second message 60 second message or you have a handful of videos that you want to give me free access to teach me how to do this this and that um there's many ways you can spin it man video format or a digital download a pdf and that's where this website you guys can come in handy for sure in 20 2018 i ended up doing this for my business for my social media agency i've been focused on one niche since 2016 getting clients on social media direct messaging look at all my old videos look at it in the playlist of, of 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 building my social media agency something like that it's it's um it's this playlist over here but i just have so many videos in there man that are old that are freaking old so what i'm saying is i've been doing this for a minute you know what i mean like i've been freaking if you come to the playlist i really started documenting that like in 2017 it's um um how I'm building my social media agency. So in here, dude, there's 85 videos, like all in the past two years, you know, two and a half years, um, just simply documenting what I'm documenting what I'm doing. But 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 it wasn't until 2018 when I'm like, dude, I'm gonna put together a book. I'm gonna come over here to Fiverr and I'm gonna hire a ghostwriter. And this is exactly what I did, man. I'm keeping it 100 with you guys. 
went on a Fiverr, hired a ghostwriter for literally, I paid this ghostwriter, I paid this ghostwriter, I think, I think it was 50 bucks. I think it was 50 bucks. It was for sure not more than, not more than 50 bucks. Um, and it was in, in an old Fiverr account. That's why I can't pull it up right here. But I think it was about 50 bucks. No more than that, man. Because I didn't need someone to write the entire thing. Like my whole, my whole thing. Again, I've seen this over and over. Marketers would always, I, dude, I have so many downloads. It's not even funny. I have downloaded so many free PDFs. It's not even funny. In exchange of giving that marketer or giving that person or giving that business owner my information, right? And so what I'm going to show you with this is what I've literally done it for, like what I've done it for. Okay. What I've done it for. Um, I hired a ghostwriter. I had them write about, um, I think this ghostwriter wrote about, wrote about, and this is being super, super, super transparent. I think the, I think the ghostwriter wrote maybe, maybe, maybe seven pages for me. Maybe, maybe, let's just say 10. Let's call it 10. Okay, let's call it 10. The ghostwriter wrote 10 pages, right? I gave, the, I gave her the topic. And that's why, man, I, I came over to Fiverr and I said, okay, I am looking for a ghostwriter. I'm looking for someone to simply help me with my ebook. Okay, and so I came over here and I clicked on, was it book? Yeah, it was book and ebook writing. And so I put in my budget. I came over here to the budget. Look, book and ebook writing. Um, alleviate your storytelling with top writers for your book or ebook. I came over here and I hit budget and I went five dollars to fifty. I remember I did that. I, yeah, that's what I did. So let's so let's say I let's say I, I did pay fifty, okay? But I came in here. I will ghostwrite, proofread, edit your book, ebook. I will be your ghostwriter, ebook writer, and autobiography writer. I will ghostwrite page turning ebooks for you. Five star, 18 reviews. I will ghostwrite an amazing 20 page long book for you. Look at this dude. Five, five star, 48 reviews, 48 bucks. Like, dude, are you kidding me? Like I can click on this 48, $45 plus the tax. It's like a $2 Fiverr tax. So it literally comes out to $47 this right here and what they're saying unique contact with interesting and fresh ideas no repetitive content or plagiarism up to 1500 words i'm telling you dude here's what i did i came on here i hired a fiber person for about that much they put together 10 pages for me i turned the 10 pages because i have so much knowledge you guys have so much knowledge here's what i'm saying you want to use fiverr if you're a freelancer or building an agency Whatever clients you're going after, I recommend going after one. Okay, you don't need to be a jack of all trades and have a, have a restaurant client, a dentist client, a yoga studio, a, a jujitsu gym, a freaking real estate agent. You don't need all these different random people. Stick to one niche, okay? Um, and then whatever the pain points are, whatever you're providing, whatever your services, it's not a pitch book. It's a freaking educational book. It's, it's talk about the industry. Talk about their pain points and why marketing or why website design or why you know running facebook ads for your business why it's so important you have so much knowledge right if this is your business okay if you're looking to capture leads and this is your business and you're dealing with clients giving them some type of article some type of free download some type of pdf is what you want to do like that that right there is what i did that's what everybody has done and it still is so effective man because because what uh, what a percentage of, uh, uh, put it this way, people who are willing to consume, and here's what you do. You get this book. I, I got someone to write 10 pages. I literally got that rough draft back and I, they sent it back to me in a Word document. I got that, that rough draft back and I literally turned the 10 pages into 55 because what I did is I added a bunch of images and I added a ton of text as well. I, I have a lot to say as well. That's what I'm saying. Whatever you're fired up about, you're a real estate agent. Put together a seller guide. Teach the end consumer everything they need, to know, they need to know about the process of selling. And here's what you can even do to take it a, a step further. You can literally pour a glass of wine, drink your tea, sit on your couch, go to your office, whatever works for you. And you can literally pull out your phone and verbally talk the entire time. You record that on your iPhone, you send that file over to a person on Fiverr, and you get someone to transcribe that. You then, you then take that content, send it over to these, to these guys, and they edit it all for you. 
And, and so you got 10 pages, you took that 10 pages, you turned it into 40 pages, you put a bunch of images and, and you, it wasn't like you sat there and wrote a book. No, dude, you could, you could, now here's the deal. I did. I did. I did. I, me personally, I did not learn that strategy, the verbal talking to your cell phone. I didn't learn that strategy until after I already had a bunch of content that I wanted to put down. I just needed a head start. Like I just needed a freaking push and that was the fiber. So I had, I had a, a, a professional, you know, ebook writer. You can find so many men and that's around the budget. But, but you can find so many and you can just, they can help you get it started. Like they can help you get it started. Any topic, any topic, if you're a real estate agent, put together a seller guide, put together a buyer guide, you know, get, ha have someone reach out and say, Hey man, here's the topic. Here's what I need you to write about. And, 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 and what's the most amount of words I can get from you, you know? And, and, and when you're hiring these people, they're in different countries. Fiber is the middleman. That's why they charge the little $2 processing fee, but it's nothing, man. I've used Fiverr for so many different things, man. Social media design, graphics design, my ebook. Look, dude, so here's the deal. I took my ebook, right, and started sending it to my niche. People that I were looking, that people in, in an audience that I was looking and still do look, to get us clients for my social media agency. So all I did is I put together this, this awesome book on marketing and, 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 and social media, you know, marketing. And, and I'm, and I just tailored it towards that niche. That's all I did, man. Told her, told, told the ghostwriter what the topic was, told them I needed to, you know, a good amount of, of, of words, you know, to get me started. And then I could take it from there. And I took it from there and I added a bunch of images. I added a bunch of text because I had a bunch of content, but I'm just telling you, it's easier now. You can literally, sit on your cell phone and just talk as if you're having a conversation. And that's chapter one. You could do it again. Chapter two. Like if I, if, if, if you, if you're a real estate agent and, 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 um, and, and I sat you down and I'm like, Hey Stacy, what are tips? What are strategies? What are different ideas that you may have that would help me if I was looking to sell a house? Like to sell your house, if you own a home today in the United States, if you own a home anywhere in any of this, in, in, in any, in, 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 in the, in the entire country. And even if you're catching this video from a different country, real estate, I'm, I mean, shit, it's pretty general, right? Let's say you freaking, you, you, you own, you own a property, right? Or, or let's say you're looking to, yeah, yeah, you own, and you're looking to sell. What can you educate the, the consumer on? That would make that process maybe easier. Like, what can you put together to like if you if if you and I sat down right now, if we went out to coffee, we went to go have coffee, and you wanted to meet with me because I told you that I'm looking to sell my house, but I don't know who to hire. You know, I I don't know about real estate. I never sold a house before. You know, you're my only friend, so I'm reaching out to you. You you happen to be a real estate agent. So, if we had coffee and we sat down, like, and 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 that's my 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 pain. My pain is that I I need to sell. So I'm, I'm looking for the best advice. You know, I'm, I'm probably interviewing different real estate agents. I'm trying to see what, so what do I need you for, right? If, if you and I sat down, Stacy, and that was the topic, you for sure can list, you can give me 10 different strategies on selling that house quick. Your marketing, maybe, maybe you're giving me advice on renovating the kitchen. Maybe you're, you're coming over and you're doing a walkthrough. And, and, and you're giving me advice on laying new carpet or you're, you're giving me advice on the landscape. You're telling me, hey, man, renovate that bathroom and we could probably get a higher value. All that type of knowledge that you have as a, as a real estate agent, for example, you can literally, we, that's what you would tell me. We would sit down for coffee and you would say, David, here's the reason why you need to hire me. Because my marketing is superior. I'm going to have you all over social media. In fact, I'm going to be running Facebook ads with my buddy David, and we're going to be crushing it. We're going to sell this property. I'm going to put X amount into the marketing. Here's what the pictures are going to look like. You would look, and, and here's what I want you to do to it. I want new flooring. I want landscape. I want you to renovate the kitchen. Like you could tell me all these different things, man, that would help me sell my house the fastest and at the highest value. Because that's your job. You already know that knowledge. So it applies to any business. You're a dentist. You're a chiropractor. Whatever the, 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 the pain point of the consumer is, that's why you're in business to fulfill it. All I'm saying is that on social media today, 2020, it's time to narrow it in. It's time to narrow it in. Because if you're a local business owner, you cannot afford anymore to just post organically thinking that your next client is coming from Nebraska when you're doing deals in Florida. 
No, dude. Like, it, narrow it in. Narrow it in. And so all I'm saying with this is that when you start capturing leads, when you start running paid traffic, a great place to start to even test the market, to see if they're even open to what the hell you're selling, the very first thing you want to do is start with a PDF. Start with a free download. Put together your knowledge. Put together your information. Who are you pitching? Who are you looking to, to recruit? Who is your client? Who is your ideal client? Who is the avatar, right? And it applies for anyone, man. You're going after a certain age group. You're, having, you're going after a certain gender. You're targeting a certain location. Who is that client for you, man, is all I'm saying. Even if you're just a, a direct marketer or an affiliate marketer and you're selling physical products or digital products, who's that audience? Who's that audience, right? That audience, there's, there's the overall audience. There's, the, there's that category, it, it, and it's categorized under an interest. So that interest what can we offer them to get their attention? Like, what can we offer them? And I'm just saying a download, man, is super inexpensive. It's super fast. It's how you can test your market and test your offer fast. Because if you put together something, what, 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 what a percentage of an audience are willing to consume for free, okay? This is a free download. I'm not selling this download, right? And, and that's why what I did over here, when I started mine in 2019, here's my list over here. I sold, I sold, let's see, paid book, way, way more than 83. That was all in 2019, okay? Way more than 83. But then I combined list. I lost a few people. I even, I even deleted a few leads. Like, because you're not going to keep, you don't want to keep the whole list. Like, there's, there, you want to you wanna scrub your list every now and then, man. Like, my list are not the biggest, but every single person on that list is effective. Like, shout out to every single one of you. Shout out to every single one of you. Like there's different links in my description, right? And and it's like one link brought way more than 183, brought way more than 83, but let's just call it 83. These are 83 people that literally went to a sales page. Look, I'm not playing with you guys, man. This is um this one sales page. I mean, there ain't nothing to it. This is all hosted on Kartra. There's a 14-day trial in the description. But this is what I put together in 20 in 2018. In 20, 2018. And then, and, then I, and then I revised it in 2019 to fit 2020 and where we're at today. So, but it's not really something that I really care to sell. I mean, when you come over here, this is the long form sales page. This is my book, right? I put this together all through Fiverr in 2018. Okay, I'm telling you how I did it. This book right here is fire, fire. Someone can click on the image. It brings up the payment processor and I take their card, Okay. I've been doing that since 2018, but it wasn't high scalability. I didn't care to go crazy hardcore with it because again, the whole purpose of this, the whole purpose of getting a ghostwriter and allowing them to put together the template for you so you can then take your knowledge and, 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 and um, elaborate on it, right? You can, you can turn a 10 pager into a 20 pager and then boom, that becomes your PDF. That becomes your bait. That becomes how you start running Facebook ads to a specific audience to give them something of value in exchange for their contact information. That's how you capture the lead, okay? You're not gonna do it just by posting on social media. No one cares about you. 99% of your friends that follow you on Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. 99.99% of every single one of my YouTube subscribers. Shout out to every single one of you. But shit. 99% of you guys are around the world. So if I was a local business owner, I'd be screwed. Like, come on, right? So it's like, dude, this right here is just to test the market. Test the market, test the market, especially if you're a freelancer. I guess I'm talking to those who are trying to build an agency or you're looking for clients or you're, yeah, any type of freelancer, anything like that where you got to go get clients. A great way to do it, man, is to capture the lead by giving them some type of ebook. Okay, and this is where I got mine done. Okay, so today, today I have I have 55 pages of this straight fire that brings value to my client, to my ideal client. These are clients that are not my clients just yet, right? Um, but 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 I did that mainly not to get rich off of five bucks. I did that to test a market to see if people are even willing to consume this, right? And so if it's going to cost me a hundred bucks to test that idea. And again, what's the, what's the reward? The reward, the risk is spending a hundred bucks, but the reward, the reward is capturing so many leads. If you did it in a way where you're just 
it's your bait to capture leads. That's why if you're a real estate agent, you put out a buyer guide, you put out a seller guide. This is how you're now going to capture leads. Okay. In my case, I am a, an, an agency where I actually am looking for clients all in that real estate field. So I put out my bait with my name on it, brought some value and X amount of people said, damn dude, that's pretty cool. Right. And so what X amount will purchase, will, 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 will consume for free a percentage of X amount are willing to pay a premium for more information. Okay. And for detailed information and for coaching type of information, right? Teach someone how to fish man type of information. And in this case, when it comes to entrepreneurship, when it comes to building your business, when it comes to making freaking money, okay. Bottom line, that's my market, man. That's my market. That that's why I truly believe that local business owner that needs to be online. I'm just telling you a great way to, to do it is it, is to come over here, get yourself a free, uh, uh, get yourself a, a, a an ebook, right? Get yourself an ebook. Put your name on it. Put your contact information. Like I'm telling you, man, the social real estate agent. If you guys want to hack me, go hack me. That's the best five bucks you'll ever spend. That's the best five bucks you'll ever spend. Okay, the social real estate agent .com. Look at my book. That book again from Fiverr. They put together 10. I turned it into 55. If you look at the layout of mine, ain't nothing fancy, but at the same time, it's something. And, and when you grab that, if you're interested in golf and someone just threw out a freaking free download, like, why wouldn't you download it? Like shit, you're a golf player. Like that's what I'm telling you, dude, I'm not, this is not hocus pocus. This is information highway. This is how we're consuming information. You dangle a carrot in front of me and it happens to be what I'm interested in I'll click. That's just what it is, man. And so for you being a local business owner, this is how you're going to do it. This is how you're going to capture leads, man. Whatever business you're building, it doesn't matter. What type of value can we put together in a brochure? What type of value can we turn that into a PDF and a digital download? And I'm telling you, all that is hosted on Kartra. I host the, I host the list. Look, 83 people. That was enough for me to say, damn, dude, there's, the market can, can, can use this, okay? That's what, that's what, that's what solidified that idea. And then, and then I gave it away for free. I also gave it away up here, up here. I also gave it away for free for a few people as well in the last couple of weeks. So, I mean, people, that's what I'm saying. And whatever you want to teach is whatever you could teach. My whole goal with this was to test the market, see if there was a, 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 of a, of a need for this type of information, right? Social media marketing, Facebook advertising, um, all on one niche, right? So whatever your niche is, man, put that value down in a PDF, dude, put that value down in a PDF, um, and, and, and start and, and see, here's what I did not do. All that is organic. All mine is organic. Okay. You get that book done first. And then what you can also do is you can optimize all your social media platforms in all of your platforms, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, even TikTok, YouTube, if you're building a YouTube that link, that website address, okay, in your contact me page on LinkedIn, that website address is very, very important. A lot of you guys are Mickey Mouse in it. I'm going to call you out right now. Without you even changing anything right now, think of all your social media platforms and think of the website address you have in all of them. Do you have one in all of them? Does that website address lead me to a capture page in any of them? Like, don't send me to some fancy website. I don't care about your website unless you're Facebook pixeling me and putting me into a custom audience, then you got your game up. But if you don't got that going on and you got some random link to some random website, but that link happens to be on your Twitter, that link happens to be in your contact page on LinkedIn. It's like, dude, it's so not optimized. It, it looks ugly and it's not netting you anything. So, so what you, what you, what you're going to do is you're going to take it a step further and, and go get it, go get your own domain. Okay. Come over here to, 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 um, go into incognito and you're going to go to Google and you're going to type in cheap domains and you're going to get this dollar, this 99 cent right here at the top, the ad, make sure it's the ad, the go daddy, there's a 99 cents and you can register a new account. You can only do it once, but I mean, shit, at least, you know, there's get, get it for a buck for the first year, right? Little hack that domain goes to your landing page. Okay. So again, that's my sales page. A person come, this is a long form sales page. This template is already provided in Kartra. So if you come into Kartra, there's a link in the description, profitwithkartra.online. 
set up a 14 day trial, man. And then come in here, click on pages and then click on, um, let's click on, no, 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 no. We're going to click on my campaigns to the left right here. My campaigns. We're going to click on my campaigns and we're going to, and, and, and these are all right here. We click on available campaigns. These are all campaigns that Karcher already has done for you. So this is absolutely insane. This say, this saves so much time. It's not even funny, dude. It's not even funny. Like you couldn't even hire somebody to go do this entire funnel for you. Just the sales letter campaign, the VSL campaign, the squeeze page campaign, the lead magnet, magnet product launch. This is the one that I did over here. Look, oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Frank Kern's book funnel. Look, dude, this right here, the entire funnel is already done for you. Look at this. This is a short little video. I won't play the whole thing, but watch. Hey, everybody, Frank Kern here, and welcome to the book funnel. So in this done for you campaign, I'll just walk through how the flow of it works, and then you can go ahead and set it up once you click the button to install it. So here's how it works. You're going to send traffic from either Facebook ads or Google ads or an email list, and it's going to go to a sales page. And we default to using a sales page that looks like this one. I know the video is a little bit small, but I'll show you a bigger version here in a second. And the reason we're defaulting to this long form version of the sales page is because this page, this layout, and the copy that I'm including in this campaign for you, it's all based on the exact page and layout and copy. I've personally used this on so many thousands of my own clients. We, we give you a jump start to that point, and we keep model what's really been working very, very well. So And then they can either download your book uh, at the end here, um, or if you don't download it at the end, of course, you can send them a book series. You can literally come in here, dude, and you can import that entire funnel, and you have it. Like, I'm talking like all the pages, the email sequence, the email list, the tags, the product checkout, because you need products over here, my products, all that is a, di it's a digital product. So that's what I'm saying, dude, you're either selling digital video, you're either selling digital, you're either selling video content or you're selling a book or a PDF or text, some type of text-based download. Like, like I'm telling you, man, and, and that's just one powerful way to capture leads. And that's what I use Karcher for, man. So, um, this is what I would do for you guys. And, 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 then, and then to take it up, to take it up a, a, a few notches, and I, I would run a Facebook ad. That's what I didn't do. On mine, mine is organic. So I had, I had a ton of people that saw my book and bought my book, and I gave a, free, a few of them away for free. Like, I got a good amount of, of downloads on that, right? Just, to, just enough to, to, to know if my offer was good enough or not. That's what I wanted you guys to do, man. So that's the moral of the video, you guys. If you have any idea, if you have any type of service you're providing, if you're trying to get the attention of any type of audience, give them something for free and, and make it valuable. Make it a, 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 video, a video, but in this case, I'm showing you a, a, on how you can write your own book and how easy it can really be um, because I truly believe that could be a, a good lead magnet. And then you tie that with Kartra and there's just so many different campaigns that you can come in here and simply plug and play and be off to the races. And then, and then, and then as leads come in, like for example, a person, watch dude, I'm telling you, this would be the best five bucks you guys ever spent because what, what you would get out of this is number one, reaching out to someone on Fiverr to put together something like mine real quick. Look at mine, dude, five bucks. Look at mine, 55 pages that you guys can for sure duplicate. Okay. And, and, and put your own twist on it for your exact market and, 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 and then go through my process, right? When you check out, you hit continue and you put in your credit card and you freaking check out. It takes you to a thank you video where it's me on video telling you exactly what's going on. And then, and then what I want you to do is check your email. Cause that book is going to be emailed to you right away. Hack my entire funnel, man. And, 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 and look at them and be like, damn dude, I need that for my business. I'm telling you, it's that simple. This is how you capture leads in 2020. This is how you capture leads on social media. But what I'm saying also is you're not just taking the link and blasting it everywhere. You're running Facebook ads. 
Bottom line, dude, you're running Facebook ads, you're running Instagram ads, or you're running YouTube ads. Those are the top three. You have to master one of them, one of them at least. Don't try to do all three at one time. Master one. I really feel I have a master on Facebook ads. I'm, I'm in daily coaching, weekly coaching. I'm in, I'm in courses right now on Facebook advertising. So it's like I'm, I'm really having fun with that and understanding how simple it really can be, but then also how, how confusing it could be if you don't know what the hell you're doing, right? But in this case, man, a book would go out, email to that person right away, and then over the next few days, I'm emailing them more information. Hack me, man. I dare you. Hack me. Hack me. And, and I'm telling you that five bucks alone will give you ideas on what you can do for your business. And I have no doubt in my mind once. Okay. Here's the deal. Once I got this information, right? Once I was like, okay, about a hundred people downloaded that book. I think I got something. The reason why I did it, one huge reason why, or there's two reasons. Number one, to capture leads. Bottom line. So if you get nothing else out of it, the only way I can download your book is if you give me your email. And, and in this case, my da the damn credit card, right? I have a free version. I have a paid version. If you guys want to support me, go get the damn book. Hack me. And, and just look at that entire process of that funnel. Each page, each email that you're going to receive from this point on. Best five bucks you'll ever spend. And so when you can, when you can take that simplicity and start running Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, one at a, t one at a time, I'm telling you, man, you can, you can really crush it. You can really crush it. And, and it all starts with this free download. Give something of value. And I promise you, a percentage of those people will pay a premium for more detailed information. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Over now. Click the link below. It'll actually give you a Fiverr discount. All right, peace.